After graduating from Boston College in 2013, Lisa Piccarillo went on to earn her PhD in mathematics from the University of Texas. While there, she did something remarkable. She solved a famous problem from a field of mathematics known as topology. The Conway knot problem had vexed experts for more than half a century. Piccarillo solved it within a week. Her accomplishment has been written about all over the world, including in Quanta Magazine, the Boston Globe, Wired Magazine, and the fall issue of Boston College Magazine. When Piccarillo came to the Heights, she was as interested in theater and other subjects as she was math. But with the help of the mentorship and support she found at BC, she quickly discovered a passion for mathematics. Today, she is an assistant professor at MIT. Her success is proof of her talent and hard work, but it speaks to something else too. An entire community of mentors, resources, and support systems that the BC Math Department carefully designed to identify and nurture promising young mathematicians. So I think Lisa is a great example of the way the ecology of the math department works in favor of its students. Lisa came in thinking of lots of interests. She met faculty who loved mathematics and shared that love with her. People recognized her talent and gave her opportunity to do research as an undergraduate. It was a chance for her to learn about what it would be like to be a mathematician, to imagine being in that role to see if it fit her. It strikes me that there's a virtuous circle at work here, that investing in the research aspirations of the faculty and especially supporting the newer faculty who have arrived in the last 12 years has paid off both in terms of the research prominence and the status of our math department, but even more in the opportunities and possibilities that have opened up for our undergraduates. The Boston College students of the last generation have benefited from the commitments of the mathematicians not to choose between research or teaching, but to figure out ways that each can give new life to the other. When I was hired, the goal was to do good research and make my name, and also do excellent work in the classroom. I think that, that BC's department, its main strength is this extra level of support, and the extra level of community, and, and the extra level of inclusiveness, really. A big reason why I loved the math department was that I felt very like at home with the people in the department. I think having female representation early on, especially with Professor Grigsby, helped me feel like I belonged there. I have always loved math and it was very clear to me when I started taking math classes that my professors really loved what they were teaching too. So it was it was really fun to be able to like go to class and like kind of geek out on math with my professors and like we all just had this like shared love for the subject. The Boston College Math Department offers a vibrant community um, with lots of conversation, lots of support, lots of people who are interested in seeing you succeed, um, whatever that might be, whether that be a career in math, a career in industry, um, whether that be just doing good work and enjoying doing good work. We really do right by our students. We'll show them what mathematics is, we'll give them a great skill set, we'll talk honestly about the whole range of things you can do with a math major and try to give you a good start so that you can use it in a way that fits with what you want to do. Our nation needs more people who are well trained in STEM and who can use those skills to make the world a better place. I think now, more than a decade into this experiment, has proven that by hiring wonderful world-class researchers and strengthening the doctoral research orientation of the program, we've only deepened the department's ability to provide a world-class mathematical education to the Boston College undergraduates. 